The episode starts with Anri and the princess, who had just cast a spell to make the zombies unconscious. It had to do with summoning spirits, which was something Anri was skilled in. Suddenly, Cyan arrived and warned them not to get bitten, as they would turn into monsters just like the zombies. Anri asked about Yuna, but Cyan said that she was just wandering around feeling cold. Little did they know that Yuna had actually been bitten and was at risk of turning into a monster. Cyan didn't tell them the truth to keep them from getting scared, but he was determined to protect Yuna no matter what. Anri and the princess wanted to leave town, but they were too far from the magic carriage and couldn't risk getting bitten. Cyan decided to stay behind to figure out the cause of the chaos and fix things. His bravery impressed Anri's friends, who talked about him as a hero. Then a red-haired man appeared and told them to head towards the mayor's palace, where survivors were hiding. They arrived at the palace and found all the survivors there, scared and worried about getting bitten. The mayor reassured them that the palace was secure and nobody could breach it. Suddenly, they saw Cyan and his friends climbing over the wall, which made the survivors happy and relieved. However, the two boys were angry with Cyan, as they thought he had abandoned them to die. Cyan went to check on Yuna, suspecting that she had been bitten, but he lied to him, saying that she had only caught a cold. Little did they know that she was infected and could turn into a monster at any moment. Cyan knew that they had to kill anyone who got bitten, even if they were the hero's companion. They couldn't risk endangering everyone's lives. Everyone kept chanting that he must kill her so that nothing would happen to them, because it is the hero's duty to protect them. So, he took his sword to kill her and was happy because he did not expect to take revenge this quickly. However, Simon attacked him and hit him in the face so that he would not touch her. This angered all the survivors because they thought he came to save them. He asked them what they would do if their loved ones turned into monsters and how they would react. They said they would help them, and he promised to protect Yuna no matter who he had to fight. The princess spoke to him, telling him to calm down because he was putting everyone's life in danger. She also said he should tell them what happened because they would never abandon her. He apologized to them because he did not know how to deal with her, but suddenly Yuna transformed and attacked Simon to eat him. Everyone was terrified, but Enri used her magic to stop her and told everyone that she had a cold. Simon and her friends sat alone in a room, and he asked Enri how she controlled Yuna by summoning spirits. She showed him a red blot she got in the capital, which allows her to visualize the magical energy levels of others and provide a more accurate representation of intangible things like magical strength and soul. Then they saw something strange in Yuna's brain, so they asked her about it, and she told them that it was the spell responsible for sudden behavioral changes. It is likely that it suppresses her spirit and consciousness and makes her act like a monster. This means that Yuna is still inside and still alive. She also told them that the spell weakens the target's soul and leaves them in a state more like a corpse. The princess said that if it was magic, stealing and breaking the wizard's crystal would be enough to bring Yuna back to normal. When Simon heard that, he decided to go search for the wizard, but the princess stopped him because it was not safe to go out in the dark with all those zombies around, it would be wise to be patient and wait for dawn. Sean talked to Enri and asked if she could control Yuna. Enri told him that she wouldn't be able to use remote spirits summoning magic while sleeping, but she could use it to possess her body. If remote spirit summoning magic worked, then possession would too. She didn't think the enemy spell would detect the presence of her soul inside her body since having two souls in one body is not a normal condition. Shaun asked to possess her soul, and if he did, she wouldn't be able to use other types of spirit summoning magic outside of her body. Since her spirit summoning magic was specialized for treating the wounded, it wouldn't be wise for her to possess someone else. Enri also told Yuna that he wouldn't be able to handle possession magic with his current level of magical power, but he decided to use some soma drops anyway. The princess was shocked because soma drops are very precious, so Sean wouldn't listen to her since he didn't see the point in hoarding them after saving the world. Enri said she could also possess Yuna, but if someone who knew Yuna appeared, she wouldn't be able to impersonate her perfectly. Sean could do that since he knows Yuna well, and there was no need to worry about her. This is the best way to save Yuna from this disease. Enri agreed to let him possess her, and he took some Soma drops. Then Enri used her power, and at that time, Sean was able to possess Yuna and move around in her body. He was fine, 
but he needed to get used to it. After that, they went to sleep. The mayor reserved rooms for them to rest in, but they decided to sit together in one room so that no one would be uncomfortable. Then we see many zombies wanting to enter the palace. Then this huge one comes and demolishes the wall, causing the princess and Yuna to panic as the zombies enter the palace. Then the boy talks to Negan and says that they have finally entered, and it will make things more exciting. Negan responds by saying not to kill them as it's still possible to return them to their normal state. The zombies attack the boy, but he disappears as he was lying to them. It was a fake version of him, and if the zombies touch it, they will get shocked. The boy laughs and says not to worry as he did not die. He asks if Negan wants to see the mayor and suggests going through the worst moments of despair. Then the zombies enter Yuna's room, and she tells him that they got there because of her delay. The princess says it will be difficult to penetrate their ranks without hurting them. Then, Inari uses her power to stop them, and the man asks for Ain's help. Ain responds that she thought he said the palace was safe, to which he answers that there is a stronghold not far away, and he will guide them there. Then the demon appears, and Negan panics, saying it's a monster. Ain replies that it's the duty of a legendary hero to save him. Inari sees a person in danger but can't help from this distance. The princess says not to worry as they can reach him with the magic crystal to shoot ice pieces. With the magic bow, they can concentrate the spell and turn it into arrows, so she uses them to kill the monster. Ain asks where the man is, and he replies that there is a safe haven here. They follow him and meet the man, and Yuna tells Ain not to tell him he is our savior. He says he has nothing to do with anything and is in that room. They enter, and he asks them what they think of his reinforced steel room with many guns that can attack in any direction. Then a missile hits the room, and Yuna gets angry, saying that they will know our location, and we are the last survivors. He said to her, we are completely safe. The man laughed hysterically and then said, he has defeated us I received the news three days ago that a few people were affected, but I didn't take any measures to stop it and let life continue as usual. I didn't expect the situation to worsen in just a few days, the princess reassured him that they would all get through it. He asked her, aren't you the princess? Are you sure you don't remember me? We met once when we were very young. I wouldn't mistake your sneer, she replied that she had someone else on the other side, he apologized and said he had made a mistake in identifying her. She then asked him if they were vulnerable to demon attacks. He asked her incredulously if it was possible for a demon to be responsible for the curse that affected the town's inhabitants. She replied, yes and the curse was of such a large scale that it indicated a high-ranking demon. If it were similar to the ones they fought in the capital, the situation would be difficult. Yuna said to her, give me the special x-ray crystal for Lyland. She took the crystal from him and said that if she used a lot of magical power, she could see through everything. Yuna saw them all and then located their positions. She saw three non-human entities, and the highest ranking one was the demon. She spotted three demons lurking around. There were seven of them, and if they knew where the demons were, they could set up an ambush. The man said they had nothing to do with it and wouldn't help them, but Yuna remembered that she and Lyland were working together. She said to him that their involvement in the incident in the capital is unforgivable, but the situation requires interaction and we need someone who can help. If you help us save this town, I will use my authority to clear you. Then, Negan speaks and says that if she was going to give us a chance to think about what we did, I think it's better that we accept it. Then there is an earthquake in the place, and Yuna sees that the devil is beneath them and the ground explodes and demons come out of it. Then the mayor gets angry and tells him that they knew our location because you fired that cursed cannon. Then the devil attacks Sian, but she sees that he recovers quickly from regular attacks. Then Negan attacks him, but he receives a very strong blow and is shocked against the wall and falls. Then Yuna says that he explodes anything he touches, so they run away from him quickly. Ain then attacks this devil and strikes him. Then Princess Ali says that we have to endure much more embarrassment than this. Then this boy says that he will take charge, and the monster strikes him and throws him into the sea and strikes the ground and explodes it. Then Yuna says that the high-ranking devil is the one who cast the spell. Then Yuna tells Anri to double the size of the hero's sword and kill him. Anri tried to do so, but it did not succeed. 
So Yuna told her that she had to imagine doubling the size of the sword, but it wouldn't work again. So Yuna asked her to try it herself, and she took the sword to lift it and imagine doubling its size, and indeed the size of the sword doubled to split this man in half, then he fell to the ground. Princess Sian asked how he could use the sacred sword, and he told her that he had been using it all this time, but now it's in Yuna's body. Sian was surprised by that. Then we see this man lying on the ground, and this girl talks to him, and he wakes up from his sleep. Then she told them that he was thrown here from the town, and he told her that all the people in the town turned into monsters. So this girl decided to act on this matter, and in the end, she is the legendary heroine.